Hey folks, and welcome back to my vlog. So, uh, this is going to be an interesting uh, video. Um, I went for a coffee run this morning, coming home, driving past the fire fire hall, the fire station that is close to my house. Wow, I need a haircut. And uh, saw a bunch of firefighters hanging out outside. So, I knew it was those guys were probably involved um, uh, coming to my house back uh, a couple years ago when they came to help me when I had to go the first time I went to the hospital so I made a u-turn uh, I pulled in and I said hello to them and I explained uh, I asked them hey do you guys remember at uh, the corner of here and here a couple years ago he came to a house and one of the guys goes right away uh, Tommy and I, I smiled and I just said, that's me. The guy just goes, everybody just froze. And the guy goes, no way. I could not believe that what the actual, that I was there. And because they said that we've always been wondering about you, what happened to you and blah, blah, blah. They said, they know they usually get calls for some people, like the situation I was in. They usually get repeat calls, repeat calls, because there's always something, something they have to come back for. And it wasn't the case for me. And they always wonder whatever happened to Tommy, Tommy. And I made an impression in all, I guess, all their lives because everyone was saying the same thing. And uh, they just came back from a really bad call. They said they had a horrible night. And me stopping by, they said that I, I totally made their day and, and, and made all... The terrible night uh, disappear and uh, by seeing me and, and and my story and what I just told them and uh, see I'm helping people in any possible damn way and not what my haters are thinking absolutely not my story has a meaning and is useful unlike certain people's stories and anyway uh, what you're gonna see coming up here next is just from my dash cam. I didn't get the greatest footage, but you can hear the audio and what we talked about. And as you see in the picture, uh, the thumbnail picture, that's me with a couple of the firefighters. As you see, all my haters constantly talking about the fat wear, the fat, f you know what? Yeah, well, you keep talking about the past. Everyone's keep talking about the past. Now, this is the present as you see there. I am not what you all think I am, no. Yeah, I'm still big, still got ways to go, but I achieved a hell of a lot more in these last few years than certain some people, and certain some people who are jealous of it. Everybody, I'm not just kidding one people, there's a lot of people, a lot of haters and a lot of jealous people. It's all good, it's all good. Anyway, let's hope you guys enjoyed the video, it's a little bit long, maybe 18, 19 minutes. But uh, it was great catching up with them, and uh, f uh, apparently Saturday night is pizza night at the fire hall, which I promised these guys, so one of these Saturday nights we're going to be making a video with the fire boys at station 244 or 242, 244 I believe. Anyway, thanks to all the firefighters and everybody else, obviously, that was involved, and uh, take care, enjoy this video, guys. Hello gentlemen, how are ya? Are you guys regulars here? Yep. I don't know if you guys remember December 2015. You went to a house at Birchmine and Finch and picked up a really big, big guy. Oh, That's me. I lost 600 pounds, bro. And that is me. Holy shit, man. Well, we'll do COVID. Yeah. Right on. Amazing. I remember you guys. Amazing. Yeah. I, so I was just driving by, I go, I gotta stop, you guys don't hear anything. I, I know, I meant to come by, but I I wanted to get down to where I am. And I was 910 pounds when you guys took me out of the house. I waited at the hospital that day. I spent two years in that fucking hospital. And spent three months in a rehab hospital to start learning to walk again. I'm almost in the high 200s right now. About 600 pounds. We often, uh, your name might come up. We often go, what the hell happened to that guy, right? We don't right? you know, we're here. 
in situations like that, we, we often go back again and again, and we never ended up going back. And yeah. so, and it was a unique call, and uh, we thought, we thought, you know, we'll, we'll kind of stick with you, right? And, yeah. Uh, wow, man, amazing. Fucking right. It's, it's yeah, it's a, it's been tough. It's been tough. Hey man, we had a shitty day. Really? Guy, we just finished the crowd like a yeah. terrible shit. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm glad I. I created a YouTube channel about my whole, you guys can go check me out on YouTube. I got over 80 videos that I documented while I was in the hospital. Wow, Tommy910, yeah. T-O-M-M-Y 910. If you type it into YouTube, right from the right from the beginning, my very first video, if you go to my first videos, I talk about you guys, I mention how I got out of the house and all the help that you guys, have, everybody's given me. And like I said, over 80 videos I documented from me in my hospital bed to Walking for the first time again, everything, everything. Oh yeah, Tommy nine ten. I know, I got only maybe five hundred and five hundred and ten subscribers. Yeah, I fell. Yeah, that was just maybe a year or so before. Cause I never, I didn't know who to turn to get help. I was scared to get help, and that time when I was finally taken out, because there was EMS involved, and I know fire department, I don't know if you guys were actually, I'm pretty sure it was you guys that came up, that actually got me into the, the EMS ambulance. Well, right. we, we didn't go to the basement, uh, oh, okay. up when you fell. Because they were firefighters as well, but I mean, it might have been mostly EMS guys. And you called us after, uh, on the phone. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. Tom, yeah. you guys got pizza. Yeah, yeah. 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 memory. Oh yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and it was this guy trying to help. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and there's another big guy in there or something that yeah. came. I'm like, okay, that's Yogi, not a Yogi. I'm uh, uh, Juggy. The, the cops in the block was walking behind me. He's like, over there by shoulder. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think you guys remember this massive growth tumor yeah, in my life. Really? Oh, okay. Well, it's gone. That, when they removed it, final weight after I lost a lot of weight already, it, felt, it was still 40 pounds when they removed it. It was about 150-ish plus pounds before when I got to the hospital. You know, so. man, you're driving a car, you're out doing your thing. I got out 2017 September. It was just past three years that I got out. I got out. Same, same place still. Every day I'm in and out every day. I'm walking. I still got I had a lot of back issues because I had previous. I spent that so much time in the hospital bed. It didn't help. Um but I am trying to Good morning. Oh, I didn't recognize the car. I'm trying to, you know, do a lot of things to still improve them still improve them better myself. I already had skin removal surgery because I lost so much weight. I got another one January 7th scheduled for upper body because this is all still extra crap that I need to get rid of. I did. Yeah, that wasn't the original plan going in there for. I wanted help to get that tumor removed and, 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 and with the weight loss. And then they suggested, to get the ga that goal, like, they suggested me to do the gastric bypass surgery. So I lost 400 pounds in nine months eating a 1200 calorie diet, laying in my bed, just doing basic exercises. I got down from 9.10 to 5.10, and they said, I was healthy enough. You believe it or not, I never had no health issues. Everything was great about me, slightly elevated sugar level. How do I look? I was 39 when you guys helped me out. I'm 44 right now. <laughs> I've, been, I've been told. So it's been a hell of a journey, and I, because of my videos, I've had a lot of people contact me, saying I've been a great damn motivation to them, and I've helped a few local people here that reached out to me because of my Instagram or YouTube. And yeah, it's yes, T O M M Y nine one zero. You'll see. And I've always meant to come, and you know, I, I it's just, uh, I always want to be, you know, at my best before I come present myself, and 
But I mean, I, I was driving by, I went up to grab a coffee, and saw you guys, I'm like, I have to make a U-turn and come back. Like, I just, There was there were EMS. In, in my first video on YouTube, actually, my mom was making videos when they were loading me. I said, like, "Stop recording! I want to see. I don't well, want well, to." We could backtrack. We find out the day we know what happened. December 10, uh, 2015. Okay. At like 10, 11 a.m. That's when they took me to the hospital. I don't know when the first time when I fell, you guys came help me, but that was maybe a year. I spent three years in that basement. Once I stopped driving, even when I was 800 pounds, I was still out and about. And what really started keeping me down was that big tumor thing. And that's what caused me to be stuck at home. Now you're walking and you're, you're living a, a much better life. Yep, so I'm working with a friend of mine to start doing business right now. Good for you. What are you doing? Import export. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Between uh, my buddy's Indonesian, yeah. he's from Indonesia. There are a bunch of uh, suppliers and already buyers and already buyers lined up for different products, cool. fresh food products. Different bunch of stuff. Yeah. Good for you. So, time to restart right? my life. Yeah. I'm glad. I don't know what you guys went through today or what, but I'm glad I could help. Well, we're kind of crusty, grumpy, because we've uh, been running all night, and uh, uh, I know I'm speaking for myself. I'm a little crusty, but uh, yeah, life's not my man. I'm glad I did too. And uh, the pizza's coming, don't worry. Oh, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Okay, I promise, but you know what I mean? Pizza night or Saturday night. Saturday night? <laughs> okay, alright. Alright, no problem. I remember that. So. Good, good. Yeah, I, I just thought that you guys were also on that team. Um, to all the games when I got to the hospital. But we can find out who that is. We can just backtrack. Yeah, I would love to know. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not surprised that, you know, it's not something you see every day. I'm sure you run to big people all the time, non-stop, but 910 pounds, you know, it's probably not. Uh, we don't run into any that uh, lose it all and uh, turn into this. Yeah. Well, so it's either lay down, give up, and be dead and not be here talking to you, yeah. or I figure, hey, you know what, I still want to live. I had a lot of help, I'm not going to say it's all done by me. You have to take that battle on, right? I never you claimed it was all done by myself. You know, even though I lost, I lost 400 pounds in the first nine months before I got the gastric bypass surgery. But, you know, I could have been ordering food to the hospital or getting people to bring me stuff, but. Once you start seeing the results, I lost 110 pounds in the first 10 days. Once you see the results, yeah. like, God damn, really? It's not taking no time. And it just gives you self motivation when you see the results of yourself. Humber. They were just literally open two months, brand new hospital, two months prior to me going there. In October of 2015, I went in December 10th. So I'm, I'm, I'm my own celebrity in that damn hospital, too. Every, all the doctors, all the nurses, everybody knows me there, man. Yeah, and I had a lot of returns with a lot of problems after with um, stupid issues that kept coming up, all stomach ulcer issues, a lot of UTI issues for no reason, like whatever, you know, I spent a lot of time back there. And I, from them knowing me, I've had a lot of privileges coming in where, you know, a lot of doctors always tell me, yeah, okay, cut the line, do this, do that, you know, so I, I, I know I've had a lot of help, but I, I, I didn't happen because I didn't make the effort to show people. Uh, you know? Amazing, uh, Appreciate it. Hope I can uh, brighten up your day and get you guys some good sleep, maybe. Yeah, we're doing all I got three kids. I ain't getting any sleep. My wife is practically full yesterday. Yeah, do you mind if I get one on my camera as well?
Yeah, check it out. I mean, yeah. even one here. Um, what are you doing uh, right now? Why are you out and about so early? I just, I'm up every day. You know, I told you I got business stuff to work on. Yeah. I'm up at five o'clock every morning. Doing stuff, eh? yeah. Yeah. So this is what you'll see when you type in. videos last one two years they've just been non really that subject related but you see that when I subscribe to it so like skate cross fix okay yeah. okay cool so my first video was titled I was almost 1,000 pounds lost 600 pounds in counting Amazing. a lot of uh, target videos yeah I appreciate it I appreciate everything and then you guys find out whoever was there that we we'll yeah, we'll we'll let them it. know. We'll, we'll come back in Tuesday. We'll look into uh, see if we can't backtrack. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. I'll let you be. Enjoy your day. Stop For sure. All right, my man. Saturday night. Pizza yeah. night. Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, not for another month. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, boys. Okay, Don. Yeah, take good, care. Man. Good seeing you again. Your day shift? D. Yeah. Make sure I don't send the pizza to the wrong people, eh? Yeah. All good. See you, yeah, later, guys. The first thing, the biggest thing for me was I was able to put my seatbelt on and drive again. Which? How old are you, Tom? How old do you think I am? Uh, I don't know. Forty. Forty-four. Yeah. I was thirty-nine at the time. Okay. Yeah. That's why I never gave up. Anyway, stay safe, guys. Go Leafs, go.